Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are surviving back to school time because I certainly am having a struggle. Like the struggle is real for me with back to school time. I'm like, it's insane. Um, but it's part of it. So I guess we're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it. But I don't remember having all this stuff. Like I remember going school supply shopping and clothes shopping and registering for school. But now we have all of these drives and orientation and also open house like it's getting to be way too much and all the kids have to do all these things every single year um so anyway i hope you guys are surviving it it's almost over for me i hope that you guys are doing okay with the back to school stuff like people that have more than one child i am with you i see you i hear you i feel you um, so with that being said, I only have a couple more days to fill backpacks up, so I wanted to go ahead and get this video uploaded and posted because my girl Lorraine sent me a box full of backpacks. And those of you guys who are like, um, what are you talking about, girl? I, uh, save up backpacks like this, as you guys can see. This is what I do as well. I wait until the school year is over and Walmart or whoever puts their backpacks on clearance and I pick them up for like $2, a dollar. Um, so thank you so much, Lorraine. I really appreciate you sending me all these awesome backpacks. She sent me five guys. Um, and what we do is, is we fill them up with supplies that a child might need for school. Not might need, we fill them up with the supplies they do need. We go in um, order of grades. So we get the fourth grade, for example, the fourth grade school supply list. And we will fill a backpack up with those fourth grade school supplies, um, boy oriented, girl oriented. And then we ask no questions at the school. It's just something that our community does here in our community where we provide or try to get enough backpacks together to give anybody here in the community that might need a backpack no questions asked we don't ask for you know how much money you make or any of that jazz that is just something strictly that we like to do because it's hard being um like a parent especially a single mom of three kids with the amount of school supplies that kids need these days like i wouldn't be surprised if more people can't afford to buy the school supplies for say three kids on one income. Like it's a lot and I'm okay with spending money on school because school is really important to me per se, but not everybody's like that. Not everybody can afford that. So with that being said, that's why we do that. And these are gonna come in great, great handy for um, the kids here in our community. So thank you so much, Lorraine. You're always hooking me up with the good stuff. I love you, um, and thanks for donating. Um, okay, so the next package is from Charlie, it looks like. Ooh, I think this is, oh, hey, hey, girl. I like that she put that on the outside of the envelope. Um, this is a swap, and I do believe this is mother and daughter. I got, I got you. I got your envelopes here. Thank you so much. And your money envelopes are inside there. So thank you so much. I'm going to, this one is Charlie's swap. So she's got it packaged up all nice and cute like that. You guys know that I'm not busting into these. So stinking cute. I like that pencil um, clip on the corner. That, and I also really, really like this little um, measuring tape this little ruler ribbon she's got there so stinking cute and then this one must be um, mahogany I hope I'm saying that right um, and it's equally as cute look at those flowers in the front and that bag that she's got it in is like that shifting hello it's probably not holographic but that's really really cute as well and then she sends me Hey, sweet stuff. Hey, girl. This little tag, and it says, when I saw this, I had it had your name written all over it. One more to go. I had fun with the swap. Take care, Charlie. Well, it feels like a water bottle, but we'll open it up and see what it is. If I can get a sharp 
I'm reaching all the way across my desk. One of these days I'm gonna show you guys like my crafting area. I am out in my garage, but my desk is huge. And my little uh, Hobby Lobby organizer with like my pins. Oh, girl, you found one. How stinking cute. Did you get yours at Walmart too? And was it only $3? Because I would feel bad if you paid full price for this. But thank you so, so much. Now I can switch them out. I'm not even going to switch them out. I'm going to take them both to work every single day. Because I like drinking water. And I like for my water to be super, super cold. So thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will add that to my collection. Uh, so thank you so, so very much. I really do appreciate that. And then, the last swap package I have is from Lynette. And Lynette has her envelope here, as well as her monies. Yes. And she's got her goodies all inside this little envelope right here. All of her fun stuff is inside there. So thank you, so, and it looks cute. I love the paper collection, which I'm not gonna go into really great detail with you guys because I want you guys to be surprised when you get your things. So I hope everybody had fun um, with this swap. I know it seems like this swap is lasting forever, but with back to school, I should have really thought about how long it was gonna take for me to get this swap done uh, as far as swapping them back out and getting them back out to you whenever I scheduled it. Um, I probably should have either given it more time or started it later where it could be not this week of back to school. But it is what it is and it's just taking me a couple extra days. So those of you guys who are new to my swaps and because there are several of you guys that are new to my swaps, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that the way that I choose where the packages go back to is I take everybody's name, I put it in a container such as this one, this is the one I use all the time. I write your guys' name out, I put it in this container, and then I go based upon, I write your names on the list based upon the order that I received them. So whoever sent it to me first is gonna be number one, and Miss Lynette, that's the last one I opened, she'll be number 25 or however many it is. And then I will have your guys' name in this container and I will just go through, shake it up, and start pulling out names and matching you with the partner that you're going to be assigned to. It's random, I don't pick and choose who gets what. I always do it the fairest way I know how and that is by drawing names. So that is how I do that in case you guys are interested. It's just the luck of the draw is who you get. Um, I don't play favorites, I don't do none of that stuff. I think that the way I do it is the fairest and that's the reason why I do it. Um, but anyway guys, I think that does it for this video. So the swap is closed. Um, for those of you guys who do my swaps all the time, you guys will know that um, after I get this in the mail, which I'm going to have this done and in the mail by Saturday. This is Tuesday now, so by um, Saturday or even sooner, I'm gonna try to start getting them out the door and in the mail. I usually do like half the packages on Friday, half the packages on Saturday, um, and sometimes I don't get to it, and because school starts on Thursday, I may not until Saturday, but I'm gonna do my best to get all these things packaged up and out the door this weekend, so you guys should start to see them on Monday. And then um, over the weekend, I'm going to post the next swap. If you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. And also, if you forget that I post the monthly swaps, I do have a playlist that's called Monthly Swaps. Um, so if you're always curious about when the newest swap is, just go to that one, and it'll be posted by month. Um, so just look for that if you guys are interested in that. And the other thing I'm gonna do this weekend is I'm going to tally up the um, pocket letter challenge, um, 4th of July challenge here on my channel and I'm going to be pulling a winner for that and showing you guys the prize for that because I have yet to show you guys and share with you guys the prize for that. Um, and I wanted to give a huge, huge thank you for all of those guys. Every single person who sent me a pocket letter sent me a school supply, so thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate that. And the kid, kiddos here in uh, the town, the community that I live in, appreciate you too. And um, I'm going to close the secret 
um, Traveler's Notebook giveaway and my Traveler's Notebook tutorial, as well as the uh, Dollar Tree giveaway, all that stuff I'm going to close um, this weekend and it'll be posted in next week's Talky Tuesday, so be on the lookout for that. I don't know why I'm, I'm like pointing these scissors at y'all. Um, so I'm going to get all that stuff taken care of and out of the way this weekend and it'll be posted in next Talkie Tuesday. Um, and then I have some fun stuff coming up on the channel. I'll have, I'm getting ready back to school time. So not this week, but next week there'll be a whole bunch of new meal prep videos and um, lunchbox videos and uh, my lunchbox organization and the things that I use for lunchboxes and stuff like that. All that stuff is going to be getting posted next week. And um, that's it, I think. Yes. So also I'm going to be recording the swap. Did I say that already? I'm going to be recording the swap this weekend and I'll have that posted next Thursday probably. And it's going to go from like, you know, Thursday, whatever day that is next week to halfway through the month of next week. Just because of the way it fell, I'm going to be from like middle of the month to middle of the month, but you know, it is what it is. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be a fall themed swap. And then the next one is going to be a Halloween swap. And then I believe the next one will be a fall or Thanksgiving themed embellishment box, I think. Or maybe I'll wait and do a Christmas. Let me know if you guys want to do a Christmas themed embellishment box or a Thanksgiving themed embellishment box. Um, which one are you guys more interested in doing? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, you love me, you hate me, put it in the description box below. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Don't really care either way. Just let me know that you've watched the video and you've got something to say about it. All right, guys, that does it for this video. Um, I hope you guys survive the rest of your week if you're in back to school week like I am. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow for a Dollar Tree haul. Bye.